Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode here on African Confessions. The following story that you're going to be listening to, it was sent to me by one of our dear brother who gave us um, his own uh, confession. So this is the translation of that message uh, that he sent to me. The translation reads like this. Hello, brother Nashi, how are you? Can you please post my own story as hidden identity? I don't even know I, how I ended up getting across your own channel and me deciding to share my own confession with you because I am not that kind of a person who likes to be very active on social media. If I go on Facebook, usually I'll be using a ghost account. So I am here and I'll be telling you my own story. And this story, it has been giving me sleepless night like I am living in a horror movie and I have been haunted by the things that I have seen since it happened last month. My name is Tafadzwa, not his real name. I am a 29-year-old Zimbabwean man living in South Africa. So I came here to South Africa and I was in search for a better life working as an Uber driver to make ends meet. You know how it is. Hustling in this country is not easy, especially for us foreigners. But what I saw, I don't even know if I'll ever recover from it. It was just supposed to be quick, a very quick job. So my boss is a successful businessman. He has a fleet of cars. This man, I don't know exactly how many Uber cars he has. He's also from Zim. He owns a lot of them. Maybe there are 50 or more. The man is making money, but he's not only into this Uber cars. He has other businesses as well that he has here in South Africa. You know, these millionaires, they do not rely on one thing. So he owns the Uber vehicle that I drive and I have been working for him for almost a year. From the outside, everything about him seems normal. He's a quiet guy living in a big house in the suburbs, always dressed really well. But the man, like what he does is that he does not flaunt his wealth like what other rich people do. He is always calm. He never shows off. And this makes me like when I started working for him, it made me to be very curious. And he told me that since he has his own ancestors, that is why most of the times he walks around barefooted. You see, like when you are an Uber driver, life is not very easy for you. Like, to be honest, it does not pay that much. And things had been tight for me lately. And worst of all, I started dating another girl. She's a South African lady and she is very demanding. And at the same time, I have my wife whom I left back home. So here in South Africa, I am paying at least my own rent and I am also paying for her. So my rent was overdue. She wanted some money to go and do a hair. My family back home in Zim also pressurizing me to send them money. So I am always in that desperate situation, but I was more than desperate on that night. She had told me that she was not going to give it to me until I had given her some money. So I was in pain because I really wanted a cookie on that night. I was desperate. One night after a long shift, that was when I got a crazy idea. I said, what if I went to my boss's house because he has several properties and then I borrow some petrol from one of his cars in his yard he always had cars that are parked there and i figured that he would never even notice let's say if i just steal, steal about 10 liters from one of the cars then i can just do my my job and then when i cash in i'll just take some of the money i know that it was wrong but you know when a woman has told you that tonight i am going to give it to you but you need to bring some money. It will make you to go crazy thinking about a woman's cookie. That night I was in survival mode. So I drove to his place in the suburbs. It is The house is in a quiet area with high walls and security. I parked my Uber car and then I walked into the house and the security, they know me because I have access to there. So when I went there, I knew that the house, as it looked, it was deserted. I had been there before several times dropping off cars, different cars, but this time it felt different. It was too quiet. I walked to the back of the house where he kept some of his cars. My heart was racing as I looked around. Then there was this other Polo Vivo. So I went there and then I figured 
it out that I would drain from that pole of evil. But when I went there, I saw that it seemed as if it did not have much. So that was when I crashed crouched down besides a white Toyota and had gotten ready to siphon the fuel. That was when I had something. At first, when I had that thing, it was a faint rustling sound, like something that was moving through the flowers. I froze, thinking that maybe there was someone, or maybe it was just the wind, but the sound grew louder and it was coming closer. So I stood up slowly. My heart was pounding in my chest and then I saw it a big snake but this was not just any snake it was huge at least two meters long very black let me say dark gray and it its body it was covered in shiny gray scales but the strangest thing that i saw there were red beads that were around this snake's neck it slithered towards me its eyes glowing in the dim light and i could not even move i was frozen in a place paralyzed with fear so this snake it was as if it was blind because it just slithered past me as if it did not even see me then it went almost in the middle of the yard that was when the unthinkable happened the snake opened its mouth wide and i swear to you it started vomiting money real money i saw hundreds of friends pouring out of its mouth like some kind of a twisted water fountain. My knees gave way and I fell backward. I watched everything in horror as the snake continued to vomit more and more cash. The smell of that money like new new money and it was even sickening like rotting flesh mixed with something that was metallic. I wanted to scream but no sound came out. I don't know how long I sat there staring at that thing. My mind was racing. How was this even possible? My boss, was he using this snake to get rich? So I knew that this was true. And I had had so many stories about snakes that vomit money. Suddenly that snake stopped vomiting the money. Then the snake just disappeared. But it looked at me only once with its blind eyes. That was when I knew that I had to get out of there. I scrambled to my feet and I forgot my patrol can behind and I ran as fast as I could towards the gate. I ran and I felt as if I was being chased but I did not even look back. I jumped into my car and I sped off when that girl when she said so are you still coming or not I said to hell with you I don't have money tonight because I was even shaking because of the things that I saw. That night I did not even go home. I kept on driving and driving, trying to think about what I had seen. So my boss may be a witch doctor or a ritualist, but the fact of the matter is I saw that snake vomiting. I did not sleep that night. The image of the snake vomiting money kept on replaying in my head. So I have been thinking about going back to Zim, but I am scared at the same time. What if something happens to me if i stay here what if this juju is too strong and what if my boss gets to know i need help i don't know who to talk to or what to do part of me wants to to confront my boss but another part of me is terrified what if he knows that i saw everything what if that snake comes after me this is my own story when you post my story please tell me i'll be following through in the comment section Dear listeners, right, there was a message that was sent to me by one of our brother. That was the translation of the message uh, that he sent to me. Strange things indeed they do happen in this world. Yo.